much and the windmill is going to be one of the biggest pollutions we're going to have here. We don't need electricity. We need our food. We have children, great-grandchildren to think about and we can go without electricity. We can't, can't go without our food. We can't eat our electricity. We have to stress that to the Yitzchadesh and to everybody else. We can't eat our electricity. We have to be able to look out there because that ocean are, is our refrigerator. We can dry our food. We always have. Electricity has so much radiation coming from it. They talk about it. They have all kinds of studies. Even with the electricity coming out of cell phones, it's bad for you. Think about the electricity that's going to be coming from those windmills and all that bad environment that's going to be coming from it. Because they have to transport all that here to begin with, we're not going to benefit from that whatsoever. They always have to have a special oil for it and they have to, you know, people, our people's not going to benefit from it because they're not going to be allowing them to go out there to oil anything. They're just going to be allowing them to go out there to uh, wipe up the oil spills that's going to happen around there. They don't have the resources for any catastrophe that may happen with all that earthquakes we have here. We have tremors at least once, twice a month and it's getting worse all the time. We're getting buried underwater now and it's going to get worse with that windmill coming in because it's always going to be going round and round and round like that. It, the, the water has to go somewhere. Where is that water going to go? It's going to come here on our island. 